Most patients know when they're going into a flare. They start to feel tired. Sometimes their partner or spouse notices first. They're, you know, they get a little bit slow. They need more sleep, uh, not sleeping well. And at that point, if you can learn to recognize sort of the, we'll call it the prodrome of going into a flare, that's when you may be able to say, I think I might be flaring and pull back on the amount of energy you're expending in a day. Take rests, eat better, um, use whatever you need to manage pain. And if you really think it's still worsening and you normally manage a flare with some prednisone for a couple of days, maybe start it then before it gets to be a big flare. Also, it depends if you are a person who has major flares or a person who has minor flares. And, you know, usually we refer to flares as major flares, but we all know people have minor flares. It takes a while to understand what a flare is for yourself, to get to know your body and what a flare is for you. But I, I think, you know, the main thing that's really important is when you think it's coming, get on top of it. It's not improving or it just keeps happening to way too many times. Those are usually indicators that something needs to change in therapy. And whether that is an, a, a dose adjustment or, um, uh, you know, an additional minor therapy or a major change in therapy. Let's say someone's been doing very, very well on methotrexate for a while, but now these flares are coming every two, three weeks, and they're really painful. They're really holding a person back. They're really interfering in life. That's an indicator that probably a treatment has to change.